This is your Weather Extreme video for Saturday, December the 29th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters, and it's going to be cold for the next couple of days. There's a look at the SkyCam network from the Alpha SkyCam network, and we're seeing some clouds over the state, and it looks like those clouds will hang tough for much of the day. The surface low that was affecting us yesterday and brought us a fast-moving Nice soaking rain has moved east of the area, and we've got a little leftover moisture, so we might see just a few snow flurries, but nothing of any significance uh, likely to go on. In the upper atmosphere, one of the reasons that we may see a few snow flurries is that the trough axis has not yet swung by, and until that does, we do have a little bit of lift, and uh, that means that we could see just a few snow flurries. Northwesterly flow, you can see that, man. If you follow back from Birmingham, you go all the way back into Missouri. And, of course, you know what's back there, snow cover. Yep, and that air coming right off that snow cover. The uh, storm system is still producing some issues all the way from northern Kentucky all the way up into New England. So with all those purple areas you see up there, those are all winter weather advisories. QPF-wise, we're expecting another round of rain around the first of the year. So January the 1st, 2013, we're going to start 2013 on a wet note. Storm Prediction Center is not outlooking any severe weather, specific areas for severe weather on day one, but there is a CTEX, so there's a little bit of concern over the Florida Peninsula. All right, the 06 ZGFS model run, and uh, NOAA's servers are still down, so I went to an alternative site, so it looks a little bit different. Here's our trough uh, axis, and it should be swinging by today. And uh, that, uh, of course, brings us a very strong upper northwesterly flow. And at the surface, of course, we get a north to northwesterly flow at the surface with high centered over Texas to our west. On Sunday, the high shifts over our way, so look for a rather chilly morning. We should have reasonably good radiational cooling, so look for temperatures to drop into the lower 20s. That means some spots getting into the teens. On Monday, the 31st, the next storm system is taking shape in the upper atmospheres. We see a trough coming through the Four Corners area, and that puts us in a southwesterly flow, and of course that's a moist flow, so we're going to see moisture beginning to mass to our west, and that moisture coming our way late in the day on the 31st and into the 1st. By uh, the 1st, of course, the trough is beginning to shear out. You see the energy moving up across the central plain states, and uh, that brings the, the uh, frontal boundary down into our area, so it does look like it'll be a reasonably wet day. I don't think this will be a fast-moving system like we just saw, but certainly a... Uh, um, a soaker of a rain and um, on the order of probably uh, another one inch of rain as we start the new year. January the 2nd, uh, the, the trough has pulled out a little bit. And uh, again, because of the southwesterly flow, the, the uh, uh, frontal boundary at the surface is kind of parallel to that flow. But it looks like uh, the GFS is suggesting that it will... Um, at least sag farther to our south, but keeping in some chance of rain for uh, uh, January the 2nd. And of course, uh, you can see that uh, by the uh, 3rd, uh, we've seen a little bit of the, ax uh, the uh, troughs pull up just a little bit, so that means that I think we should be out of the woods for rain chances by the 3rd. When we get into the Friday time frame, another system is beginning to drop in, and this one looks pretty potent. You can see that trough over Oklahoma, and uh, the, the nice part is, while it's a potent trough, there appears to be very little moisture, so uh, while it does get colder, you can see the 540 line dipping down into North Texas, it certainly doesn't look like we should have much in the way of uh, precipitation, and the high moves over our area on Saturday, so right now it looks like we should stay dry. Extending out into uh, voodoo country, and whoa, 252 hours. This is the 8th of January, midday. Can you spell strong storm? Whoa, doesn't that one look like something? Uh, it's got a cold look and a strong look and, uh, you know, perhaps even going negatively tilted. So could that be a severe weather episode? Uh, it's a possibility. 
And uh, that also looks pretty chilly, so maybe some winter weather concerns. And then by uh, 372 hours, the 13th of January, oh, that, that whole pattern just has an extremely cold look to it. Uh, for the eastern half of the country. So we'll be watching that, of course. And you know what happens in voodoo. It flips and it flops. And, you know, we still kind of speculate about what's going to happen. Well, thanks for tuning into the Weather Extreme video. I expect to have the next one posted first thing on Sunday morning. I hope that your day is a good one and Godspeed. Thank you for trusting us to be your number one source for news in all of central Alabama. In back-to-back -back ratings periods, more people watched ABC 3340 than any other station in Birmingham. <laughs>